Hey guys, today I was going to do a review on a Pittman backseat air mattress. Um, if you got a SUV or a pickup truck and you're going camping, or if you do like I do and travel all over the country and no one get a hotel room every night, um, want to kind of go over is it a good option? Um, I had two of the $30 Amazon air mattresses. They didn't last. One didn't last a week. The other one didn't last a month. Um, and then I ordered the Pittman. I saw it at different places and had pretty good reviews on it. It, it was definitely the more expensive of the ones. I think it was about $90. And uh, I've had about four months now and I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts on it. All right, here it is. Um, I got the Pittman camo. Got it off, got it off Amazon and uh, yeah, there it is laid out on the bed of the truck. One thing I noticed this go around and one thing that made me want to make this um, video, you may or may not can see, but the chamber has come loose right here. But if you look, this is how it goes in the truck, like so. So uh, when it's in there and I'm getting in on, I usually get in from that door and I'll sit right here, pull my shoes off and uh, stretch out across it this way. And I do a lot of twisting and turning on that, so I'm not gonna hold that against it. Eventually it will work loose the rest way across. Um, I have had one air leak that I couldn't find. I don't know here in the sun for you. I thought it was coming from right there. It was actually coming from right here, but in four months to have that one leak. And then here you can see, you know, where the seam has come loose on the inside right here. And I'm not gonna sweat that. That's not a big deal to me, as long as it keeps holding there. I was wondering why the last time out it got to where it was getting a little thinner and a little thinner and I had to keep adding air. But what it is, that chamber gets bigger, it takes more air to fill it up. So as it comes loose on the cross, you know. But overall, I've been really happy with it. And then this is how it actually looks in the truck. Okay. So one thing I do want to point out, um, when I'm getting ready to stretch out back here, I literally can. I'm 6'3". If I put my feet right here and go put my head over there, I can stretch all the way out, which I was amazed by that, but it worked. I do put a comforter down underneath it to keep it from rubbing on the seatbelt buckles or anything like that. Um, I usually try to pull some of this comforter up between the mattress and the seat. Plus, I put a sleeping bag down that drapes over the front of it. Now, I was pointing out earlier, this seam has come loose. Because like I say, when I get in here, I usually will get in and sit right here. And that's where I, you know, I just sit and move around right there a whole lot. And uh, I think that has a little bit to do with why that seam came loose. But also, you know, that's where the seat's all the way forward. Now, when I bring the seat back, it presses against this and pushes it back. And I usually try to lift it in the back and let it ride down the road up on edge like so. That way it's not over, it's not pressing too hard against it, causing it to put too much pressure on those chambers or cause a leak or bust it or something like that. But, um... I do believe I'm not blaming the mattress, and if I had to have another one, I would buy another one of these today. Um, and I'll probably go ahead and get one ordered just because of this has came loose. But um, I think that that's what's actually gotten it. Because if you fill it up to where it's firm, and then when you get ready to drive again, you don't take it out. Like if you're going camping, you're going to take it out every time. you got people riding back here. I don't think you would have a problem. But if you let these seats back and both seats press against it and it can't go anywhere, it applies more pressure to it and cause it to swell up and cause it to bust or something like that. And I think that's what happened in my case. So anyways, that's a uh, reason I wanted to do a review is because if you're like me and you were thinking you're gonna save a couple bucks and get a cheap one off Amazon, I, it didn't work out for me. So when it's all said and done, this is what I got. Got the thick sleeping bag and the air mattress, the comforter, and then the seat. Also, I wanted to point out that this 
air mattress does come with a full solid leg to go down in the floorboard but these came from one of the cheap Amazon air mattresses and uh, I like them because they do have an opening you can put stuff down in them and also in the center it gives me room to put my other bag so I'm not um, rushed for space so anyway that's that's food for thought the big leg that goes on it actually attaches to these right here and you air it up also and it fills up the whole floorboard it takes up the whole floor and it may work better but as far as keeping you flat while you're trying to lay back here but at the same time I like that better I have room there my feet barely touch there and then you know I say it's not ideal it's a heck of a lot cheaper than a hotel room every night it is comfortable and um yeah so if you're thinking about RV transporting you almost got to find something like this that hotel room every night will really get into the paycheck well there you go and I hope that was somewhat informative and if you were looking to get one of these I think it's well worth the money I like to say I'm probably gonna order another one just have it here for when that one does come apart it's been four months hundred bucks I mean to me and I'm on it three nights a week four nights a week that's a lot of use in my book so well, I hope you guys enjoyed hope you got some information you needed and I'll see y'all next time thanks